It looks like we're probably going for the four knights. Is there anything new and fresh? I'm going to just hit the center like we do. So trying to take a look at um, the calculations, the move orders, and seeing if we can get appropriate positioning. And definitely look at what it is that we usually do in key moments. Have a look at what we usually do and maybe flip it on its head a little bit, shuffle, shuffle the deck a bit and mix up the answer process that we've got. Not adding any concepts or anything like that, but just mix it up a little bit and see if we can get maybe different results from what we're used to getting. I'm going to take the knight because it's on the queen. We can always take because he's got a check on our king. Right, so we can now just support the bishop, the pawn, sorry, with the bishop. So that looks simple, straightforward stuff there. All right, so ordinarily we would just take the pawn off the board because it's looking to push down here. We could bring the bishop through. If the pawn does continue, knight can move. If the pawn takes, then we can take. And if the knight takes, etc., etc. So I think it's bringing the bishop through. Could also bring the bishop attacking the knight here, but that would mean we'd lose the knight. So let's give this a go. I think we've worked that through. If they continue, knight can move. Just attacking. And if it takes, as we said, we can take. If they take, bishop can take. Oh, they've actually gone for the capture. So we're going to take with the bishop on the knight. But I think the knight is probably going to jump in here. All right, so the move order looks like it's worked for them. Looks like they've got a plus one in that situation. Yep, yeah, okay, let's take. We've got a bishop, actually, sorry. So take here. So they've got a piece up, minor piece. The queen, uh, king is a little bit airy, so I'll put a little bit of a check on it. Bishop's probably going to come in front because he don't want to kind of lose the knight with the pawn. Yeah. Okay, so we could look to double up or take this pawn first. So they'll be getting this pawn here and could put a check on the king, but the knight is there. Just bring it here, maybe. And maybe protect the pawn. The rook's going to come down anyway. Let's go here. So the rook will come down for the pawn. Uh, no, 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 no. We're not into any of that stuff. They moved there a bit quick, didn't they? Let's just bring the bishop here. Maybe it gives us time to double up then. Let's just attack the pawns, bring the rook across, double up on the bishop. Obviously the rook can come and defend, but we try to give them something to think about. They got the move order right, we got the move order wrong in that opening. I think maybe we should have just gone for a simpler manoeuvre. I'm just trying to think now. Alright, so they're coming down, let's just go for the double in. Rook comes down, bishop hits the rook. Rook slides across a little bit. Maybe hit the knight first, but then the knight's going to be hitting here. But then the bishop can x-ray through. But the rook will be there defending. Okay, fair enough. So we're not getting anything. All right, so what did we say? Hitting the knight first. No, 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 no. We said hit the rook first, thinking it's going here. Hit the knight, thinking it's going there. Attacking the rook, bring the bishop here. But they might not do any of that. They might come down and attack the rook this way.
Oh my gosh, we didn't even see any of that, did we? At all. Oh, what do we do with that then? <laughs> okay, let's put the check on the king. Crikey sake. Everybody's got a bit of magic, haven't they? Um, I don't know. Tuck the knight. Bring the rook across, tuck in the pawn twice, tuck in this pawn as well. But like we know, they've got magic in the thing. Look at this. What is that? God, my life. Let's just bring the rook here. Knight moves. Can't even put a check on the king or nothing. Go up and attack the bishop. Rook, rook defends. We don't stand a chance, it looks like. My word, they're finding some serious nice moves. And he's off. The knight can't move. But we can't do anything about that. <laughs> and the bishop's protecting here. Can't take. Might have to resign this one. It's um, not looking that good. Just going for an exchange of the rook. Looks like he's getting into action. So if we take this, has the knight got some sort of fork thing? I can see that happening. See that happening. We still have a two on one here, but he can afford to trade down. So I think they'll be happy trading down. Uh, he's protecting it, sees everything. Yeah, very good. Bishop can take. Rook cannot go there because the bishop is there. I want to attack the pawn. But the knight's got freedom now, so we have to be very mindful.
So they're happy for us to take the pawn, so it looks like are we getting trapped or something? Possibly so. Maybe the bishop comes here. It says they've left the game. Have they done something wrong? Maybe they didn't see that we could take the pawn, but they've got two pieces. Oh, we'll claim victory on that. Oh, yeah. Have a look at the analysis. Ooh, 0 0.5. <laughs> That's never here nor there. It's not worthy of actually leaving the game, is it? But again, this is one of those games where I'm a minor piece down and something scared the opponent off for them to say, well, no, we're not interested. Actually, it's changed now. It's showing plus 0.3. Um, yeah, so in those sort of games, you just keep plodding away and you will lose pieces in your games. And I think that does, I keep saying it, that does kind of strengthen my kind of playing style and performance if I just keep plodding away. If I feel I can gain some sort of gameplay in the game, not a win, just if I can still continue playing on and I'm not getting too squished then I'll continue. And it's kind of soul-destroying, especially when it's happening to me. If I've got like a, a minor piece up or whatever, and the opponent is coming back and finding good positions, well, what I believe are good positions, whereby they're attacking and they're just keeping the pressure on and it makes it look like they've got more pieces than what I've got with the way that they're moving. It can be quite soul-destroying. So you then start thinking, damn, I'm losing here. How am I losing when I've got a minor piece up? So it's that aspect of being able to work the pieces together. To it's Basically, it's like swindling, isn't it? You're, you're trying to make it look like you are in a better position and you, you're, you've got a better sort of strategy and plan than your opponent. And if you do that enough and you're doing it strong enough, then the opponent can sometimes capitulate and resign or leave the game it's very risky but at the same time it does help your game um, any kind of swindling that you see really that's based off of the fact that you can make it look like you are you've got fighting chances you can make it look like you're winning the initiatives so don't feel bad about swindling or whatever negative thing you, you know somebody might go oh well you got lucky because of x y and z or because their time ran out or if it was a longer game or whatever it is all those sort of things there um or if they had played this move you wouldn't have been able to do that x y and z um don't listen to that listen to what happened in the game and if you became advantageous in the game from a disadvantage then so be it that's the game of chess we can send ourselves crazy looking at the evaluation afterwards and going, if, buts and maybes, or when you've just finished an over-the-board game and some clever person comes along and goes, oh, well, if they'd have done this and if they'd have done that. and it... Put your glasses on, put your scarf on, put your gloves on if it's cold and walk away. You're going to just hurt yourself. Go with what happened in the game. If the opponent didn't see it in the game, um, so be it. That's the game of chess. You gotta love it.